Introduction Avinash is jogging in a park. He notices some elderly men performing yoga. They first take a deep breath and inhale. After a while, they exhale. He finds the pattern of inhalation and exhalation interesting to watch. He then hears someone practicing drums. The beats of the drum also follow a rhythmic pattern. In this lesson, you will learn about patterns. Understanding patterns Look at this arrangement of rings. A blue ring is followed by a yellow ring followed by a red ring. This arrangement is repeated three times. When objects are repeated in a definite order, they form a pattern. Look at one more arrangement. In this arrangement, two standing lions are followed by a sleeping lion. Then, again two standing lions are followed by a sleeping lion. This is also a pattern. Pattern in shapes Look carefully at this pattern. A shape is placed in sleeping position first and then in standing position. These positions are repeated in the same order many more times. Now look at this arrangement of triangles and circles. Can we call it a pattern? No, we can't because the shapes do not repeat in a definite order. Patterns in nature. Look around and you will find many patterns in nature. Look at this rose garden. The gardener has planted the roses to form a pattern. Here, a white rose follows a pair of red roses. Look at rainbows. The order of colors in every rainbow is the same. Number patterns. There can be patterns in numbers as well. Let us look at one. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. The numbers are not the same. Still, we call it a pattern. Can you see why? Yes. The difference between any two numbers placed after one another is the same. Let us look at another number pattern. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Can you see why this arrangement of numbers is a pattern? You are right. The difference between any two consecutive numbers is 5. We can also say that we get the next number by adding 5 to the previous number. Patterns in nature Look around and you will find many patterns in nature. Look at this rose garden. The gardener has planted the roses to form a pattern. Here, a white rose follows a pair of red roses. Look at rainbows. The order of colors in every rainbow is the same. Patterns with increasing and decreasing shapes. We can form patterns by increasing and decreasing the number or size of shapes. Let us see how. Look at this arrangement of shapes. One circle followed by two circles followed by three circles and so on. This is a pattern because the circles increase in a definite order. Look at one more arrangement of shapes. Five large beetles followed by four smaller beetles followed by three even smaller beetles and so on. This is also a pattern because the number and size of the beetles decreases in a definite order. Completing number patterns. Look at this number pattern. There are two numbers missing in the pattern. We can fill them 
if we understand how the pattern has been created. It is clear that in this pattern, numbers decrease by one at a time. We can find the missing numbers with the help of reverse counting. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So, the missing numbers are 10 and 6. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. When objects are repeated in a definite order, they form a pattern. Number patterns are formed by adding or subtracting a fixed number to the previous number. Patterns can be created by increasing or decreasing the number or size of shapes. Patterns can be completed by understanding the basic rule used to create the pattern.